Hi campers, thanks for coming out to Guarantee RV and taking a look at some of our trailers today. Even if we're doing it through a video, you get a chance to see what we have out here and some people to work with. What I'm going to show you today is a 219. This is a Forest River Wildwood Heritage Glen, super nice setup. Um, I'm going to start right here with this beautiful gel cap. This is a fiberglass cap, it helps to diffuse the, uh, the wind resistance. It's got two tanks on it that switch over. Almost all the units come with an electric tongue jack, which is a big upgrade. You know, at a touch of a button, you can get on and off the ball. Easier, faster, more convenient for you. I'm going to walk around the side of this. This is a 221, so what that means to you is that it's just 22 feet, overall 25, which is perfect for going into a state, county, or federal park. Uh, especially if you're going to go into the national parks because they are, were built by the CCCs and they don't have great big sites. But the layout about this trailer is really what sells me on it. And I think you'll like it too. You've got this great big storage area and I'm going to have them take a peek in there. That goes all the way through and it gives you an opportunity to see that this is an aluminum cage trailer that's well lit and it's got nice solid uh, plywood in there. What, uh, something that'll last for you quite a while. You've got an electric awning here with LED lighting, outdoor speakers, and, and we're a little cramped today. <laughs> so uh, we're not going to open that up. I am going to show you this. This is what's called a friction hinge door. So when I go to slam that door, it doesn't slam. That means when the wind, the wind catches it, it isn't going to hit your five-year-old. And it's nice and wide. It's a 30-inch door. And the solid step stairs. So long. It's been forever and a day since any component company has changed the stairs. But this is a nice set that just folds up in the door and they are sturdy. You can jump on them. The kids can jump on them. They'll hold you. I want to sh show the bathroom first because the bathroom is such an important part of the travel trailer. You know, a lot of times you get some tiny little corner that you try to take care of all your business in. There's no storage in it. There isn't, uh, it just makes it difficult. But you can see here that this has got ample storage. It's got storage under the sink. It's got drawers. It's got this beautiful flat shower in it instead of a little bathtub. And, and there's nothing wrong with the bathtubs. It's just not always useful. And I like this. Instead of a curtain, you've got a nice little panel here that comes closed. And look at this. This is a 22 foot trailer. This is not a big motor home, but it's got a sectional couch where this portion will fold down into a bed for extra sleeping uh, arrangements. It has a full size refrigerator, the same size that you would find in a motor home. It's offering a large Jensen TV that you can sit down and look at directly. Uh, also, this fireplace, you know, that fireplace down there is going to not only be very quiet when you're plugged in, you won't be using any of your propane to heat the trailer. And this looks just like home. It does. You've got a solid surface countertop. When's the last time that you've seen a drawer underneath an oven in an RV? It's been a while. Nice big uh, oven, range top, microwave, easy to get at. Nice big cabinets here. Just a really good layout. And then it's got an awesome bedroom. So how do you beat that in 22 feet? I'll bet you, I'll bet you that we see more than just one of these out here. It's got a super comfortable bed. I mean, you can see I'm not very heavy, but it's just super comfortable. And you can just kind of read this. It's a Denver mattress. It's a residential comfort for you in your RV, which means you can buy the right set of sheets and the right comforter and all that jazz. You don't have to buy a special RV. Put a TV in here if you want. The, uh, the blind is closed over there, so I want to show you that. A normal hanger, so you can use a regular hanger. Place to put your clothes up here. Charging stations and even see how that comes up really nice and easy. That's nice. It doesn't blah, 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 blah. And <laughs> I know this sounds silly, but a place to sit down and kick off your shoes before you crawl in the sack is handy. 
They've also done a couple of neat things here. And one of those things is the way that you enter this and the way that you obtain your privacy. And that is this door right here. So this door, instead of having a swing, slides right across and back. Isn't that neat? So you get so much in so short of a coach. A lot of travel trailers that have all these features are huge. You're talking about 28, 29 feet. This is 22 feet. You can get it in anywhere. It's got a, a number of uh, amenities that go along with it. But you know who knows better? You do. Come on out here and take a look at this thing. Lay down on this bed and decide for yourself if it's something that will work for you. My name is Barb, Barbara D at Guarantee RV. My phone number is 541-521-4232. I always answer my phone. So give me a call and let me know what questions you have and I hope to see your smiling eyes soon.